Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2batch.com and in this video I'm going to talk about Google Cloud Print and how to set up Google Cloud Print on your computer. So let me just briefly give you an overview of what is Google Cloud Print. Using this Google Cloud Print service, you can internet enable any printer so that you can print to this printer from anywhere on the web. You might be in another town, but if you give a print command, it will be printed on your local printer. And this is very easy to set up. You don't need to have the latest network printer to use the same. You can have a very old printer. For example, I'm going to show you how to set it up. Uh, I'm basically using a very old uh, Xerox printer that's about four or five years old. And this is a basic USB 2 printer. So let's look at Google Cloud Print and how to set up the same. So now we are going to set up Google Cloud Printing. And uh, I suggest that you use a Chrome browser and search for Google Cloud Print. And this is the URL. Click on the same. I'm using an old printer that is connected to my computer via USB. And so it's a normal classic printer. So I'm going to select this classic printer option. And it gives us the instructions on how to install the same on the Chrome browser. It says to click on this wrench and select options if it's windows on mac it'll be preferences and we need to go to under the hood option and here if you scroll down you'll get an option of signing into google cloud print we need to sign in and uh, it has uh, confirmed that our registration to the google cloud print is done and now it gives us the option to manage our printers so i'm going to click on the same I click on the printer option and it has automatically detected my printer. That's a Xerox laser printer. Let me show you only, I have just one printer right now and it has detected that. Now I'm going to switch on my printer. That's it. We have set up the Google cloud print for our printer. And now we're going to test the Google cloud print and I'm going to print with this MacBook Air. This MacBook Air is no way connected to the printer. The actual printer is connected to this computer and our printer, which is an ordinary laser printer, it's going to print on this laser printer. So let's now print via our MacBook Air. So now let's uh, test this Google Cloud Print. I'm on my MacBook Air. Let's just try to print this uh, Google homepage. Also make sure that you're logged in to your Google account on which we have set up the Google Cloud Print. And do note that I'm using the Chrome browser. We need to use that. I click on this wrench and we go to the print option. And here uh, from the drop down, I'm going to use the print with Google Cloud Print command. To show you that there is no local printer attached to this MacBook Air, let me go to the print uh, control panel. And as you can see, I have no local printers uh, assigned to this MacBook Air. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to print this page and we hit this print command. You need to be connected to the net while this is happening. And here we'll select our printer, which is my Xerox printer. And you also get options with that. You can select the number of pages you want. I'm just go I'm going to print just one page. And now I'm going to hit the print command. Now, after a couple of seconds, uh, the printer should start printing it. It generally takes a couple of seconds. It's not instant. And as you can see, the printer is making some noise and it should print the page. As you can see, it has printed this page. And it's nothing but basically the Google page. There's one more interesting feature that this uh, Google Cloud Print offers us. And uh, when you select your printer, it'll, you'll see this option of sharing that printer. So by using this option, you can easily share this printer to multiple users, for example, to your family or friends. For example, I'm planning to share my printer with my father because his printer generally gives him a lot of problems and he normally comes with his files on a pen drive and prints from my computer. Now he no longer has to do that because I can share my printer easily with him. So the sharing feature is also really uh, innovative. You just type in the email address of the person whom you want to share with this printer and just hit the share button. And that way you can share your printer with that other person so this is google cloud print 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, I'll appreciate if you click on the like button given below. You can also subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button given above. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.